play defense first to see what it is that we have to do. Do we yeah. have to kick a field goal? Do we have to score a touchdown? You want to know your fate. Well, the other thing here too, Tony, since you're going to get the ball in the 25, uh, which team has the best red zone offense? Because that's what it comes down to. And to be honest with you, Louisville's pretty good in the red zone. So I can see why they might want to play for a, an overtime because they've been very good in the red zone. And West Virginia Here we go, has fellas. struggled at I'm going to toss the coin. You're going to call it. Heads or tails. Call it in the air. If I drop it, we'll do it again. The winner of the coin toss has a choice to go on offense or defense or defend a goal. You get one timeout per overtime. If we go to a third overtime and you score a touchdown, you have to go for two points. Okay? All right, you're going to call it. Heads or tails, call it in the air. Tails, he called. Tails it is. You're going to go on defense. That means you'll be on offense. Which end of the field do you want to play on? Put your backs to this end. Louisville, put your backs to this end. Louisville. You want to defend this side. You want to def defend this You're on offense. All right, some confusion down there. And so we will play overtime. Each team will get the football at the 25-yard line. And you will just play regular football. Offense will start at the 25. Yeah. And you will play until the tie is broken after the in the third overtime. If you score a touchdown, you've got to go for the two-point conversion. So West Virginia will have the football first down and 10. Game tied at 24 apiece. Last overtime game took place last season here in Morgantown when West Virginia beat the Maryland Terrapins. Mountaineers, for those of you that uh, are listening in, will be working toward the hospital side of the stadium. Heading toward that goal. Pat White in at quarterback. Done a fantastic job here. Making some great plays as he's come on for the injured Adam Bednarik. West Virginia will put the ball on the far side hash mark. It will be first down and 10 from the 25-yard line. Mountaineers with two receivers out to the left. Single receiver up top to the right. Fully loaded shotgun formation. Owen Schmidt to the left of White. Steve Slayton to the right. Louisville stems its defense. White is ready. And the snap comes back, and the handoff goes to Owen Schmidt on first down. He breaks free. He's at the 20, to the 15, to the 10, to the 5, and he's inside the 5, takes it down to the 3-yard line. Owen Schmidt breaking tackles along the way, goes for 22 yards. It will be first down and goal for West Virginia. What a way to start the overtime session. Owen Schmidt gets his second carry of the afternoon. He was hit at the line of scrimmage, breaking tackles down the way, took on a would-be defensive back, and finally the third Cardinal brought him down. He broke through three tackles on his way inside the five. First and goal now from the two. Mountaineers are ready. I formation, receiver right and a receiver left. Under center, Pat White takes a snap. Hand off Slayton, he's in. Goal line, touchdown! West Virginia, Slayton scores from two yards away. 30 to 24, Mountaineers. And McAfee onto the field for the extra point try. West Virginia has just hit the magical 30 point mark. It's been a special number. And now McAfee will try the extra point. Tim Lindsay is the snapper, George Shell the holder. Ball back, kick goes up, and the kick is good. 31-24 Mountaineers. West Virginia has scored 24 unanswered points. And now the gold and blue defense will get its chance to stop the Cardinals. And if they do, West Virginia will have one of the greatest come from behind wins in school history. Down 24 to seven. Going into the fourth quarter. 
Mountaineers have rallied, leading 31-24. Here come the Cardinals. Under center goes Brian Brom. Two receivers to his right, one to his left. Snap, quick pass down. It is caught by Yerudia. Immediately tackled. No gain on the play. Boo McClee made the stop. No gain for the red-shirted freshman Mario Yerudia. Second down and 10 coming up. We are in overtime. 31-24, West Virginia leading the Louisville Cardinals. That was that three-step drop just to the hitch pass, and for some reason the receiver didn't go downfield. He caught it at the line of scrimmage. Great job defense, snapping to it, getting the tackle. Second and 10, Tinch goes in motion from left to right from the shotgun. Snap comes back. Brom sets his feet. He throws over the middle. The pass is caught inside the 20, running to the 15, and Yerudia knocked out of bounds after picking up the first down at the 11-yard line. A gain of 14 on second down and 10. Yerudia picks up a first down. And the Cardinals will scrimmage from the 11-yard line. That's that crossing pattern again, Tony. Bringing him way across from underneath. Clearing with inside receivers. Bringing the wide man all the way underneath. Takes a while, but he had protection and he got to it. Put the ball down officially at the 10. First down at the 10-yard line. Snap. Hand off Bush, hit in the backfield. He'll get nothing going there. He'll lose a half a yard. Warren Young, playing in place of the injured Ernest Hunter, made the stop, stop there on Michael Bush. The Cardinals can get a first down inside the one yard line. So call it second down and 10 for Louisville. The ball just outside of the 10. Empty backfield, five receivers going out. Brom ready from the shotgun. Snap back, he looks to his left, he throws, and the ball dropped and incomplete in the five-yard line for Michael Bush. Under through him. Let me correct myself, that was Tinch, not Bush. You can the almost, result is the same, incomplete pass, third down and 10. I think you could almost just say, when they go to empty back, they're going to Tinch. I mean, that's been it so far, and they tried it again there. He tried to, Brom tried to throw the ball low down here near the goal line, which is what you're supposed to do, but he threw it too low. Third down and 10 for the Cardinals. Overtime, Brom dropping back. Brom looks into the end zone, fires, caught, touchdown to Yerudia. And the Cardinals answer in overtime and now must kick the extra point to keep this thing going. 31-30 is the score. Tondi Smith comes running onto the field for West Virginia. A blocked extra point or a missed extra point would end it right here and the Mountaineers would win. Carmody ready for the extra point try. Snap comes back, the kick goes up and the kick is good and we will go to a second overtime.